Hello Virgo and welcome back to my channel Luma Moon Tarot. So Virgo, I am here to do your mid-month for July. This reading is for the collective so it may or may not resonate with you. Just take what does resonate Virgo, toss out the rest. Don't try to force any reading into your world, right? And thank you so much for all of your likes, subscribes, comments, shares, donations. Um, thank you so much, Virgo, for everything that you do that helps support this channel, right? I love you guys. All right, so Virgo, let's see what's going on for the rest of your month of July. Ooh, ooh, Virgo, I could be reading for a masculine here. You feel stuck somewhere. Stuck, trapped, uh, maybe not wanting to confront a situation. Maybe uh, it's because of manipulation here. Looking into something, possibly watching something, working on your money maybe even. I feel like somebody here wants to walk away from one situation and go uh, make an offer to somebody from your past. <clears throat> excuse me but I feel like um, you may have waited too long to come forward there yeah I feel like you've been having to make a decision um, in love and you haven't been wanting to confront the situation here Virgo um, I feel like I'm reading for a masculine energy here Knowing that um, there, there's one that you want here, the one wand that you have your hand on here, I feel like that's this person from your past, somebody that you can't stop thinking about, somebody that's taken you way too long to come forward and make things right with or make an offer to. You could be watching this person, studying this person. I feel like you know you have to walk away from something here. There's a choice that needs to be made, an action that needs to be taken, and it's taken far too long. Yeah, I feel like there's a, a Page of Swords energy that you may need to walk away from. Um, this is somebody who's making it very difficult, maybe, for you to make a decision because it plays on your heartstrings. There could be children involved here. Huh. Um, clarify this Nine of Wands for Virgo and the Magician. I feel like this is um, a, a masculine feeling really stuck, knowing that they have to confront a situation here. I feel like um, somebody here has to confront this Page of Swords. This Page of Swords, a uh, um, very immature energy, could be dealing with an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I think I already said that though, Gemini. Gemini. Somebody may even be cutting you out here. Um, an angry, you guys are not getting along. I feel like everything that, uh, you may feel like everything that you worked for here, you could have been with this person for um, six or seven years. Everything that you worked for is falling apart maybe here. You need to confront a situation and cut something out, make a decision. I feel like um, when, he, when you talk to this, see now this page of swords, when you, when you talk to them that it's not going to work out, right? It's not going to work out. You've made your decision. You don't want to invest any more into this. You're done waiting for things to change, whatever it is for you. Um, and I'm getting it again. We can't go on together with suspicious minds. And we can't build those dreams on suspicious minds. I got that in another reading too. But anyway, I don't remember what reading that was, but it's been coming up. I feel like now this this person that this that you're currently with or whoever your person uh this queen of swords or um, page of swords energy that's very immature they uh, don't want this person to leave right and when when this masculine tells this queen of swords now she turns into the queen feeling um revengeful okay she wants revenge she's highly ticked off 
um, maybe even talk and smack about this masculine behind their back. These two are not getting along. I feel like the King of Swords here tells this um, karmic, I'm going to go out ahead and call this person a karmic maybe, um, tells this person that they want out of the situation and she freaks out. So whether this is you, Virgo, masculine, or your person, take it however it resonates. She, she wants payback, um, angry, a re a wanting revenge, um, deceitful, really bad communication. Look at all the swords here. Look at this. I, I feel like this is a masculine that's going to go through a major argument and um, a lot of crap in order to walk away from a situation so that they can go towards their Six of Cups. Um, this could be happening even starting now, this weekend. I, I feel like this Page of Swords um, is going to blow up into the Queen of Swords in reverse when when uh, this person tells her, Virgo, I get the sense that this is your situation. You want out of feeling stuck. You want to be free from a situation here. You want to walk away. I feel like if this is your situation, Virgo, you're going to be feeling really exhausted when you do finally get to walk away from this conversation. It's not even going to be a conversation. It's going to be uh, an all-out, blowout kind of war here. Because this, this Page of Swords is going to turn cold and dark real fast. A lot of fighting, a lot of, yeah, fighting. Lots of fighting, lots of heartache, lots of betrayal going on. I feel like you're being told to remain strong, Virgo. Keep those boundaries up. Stand in your strength, your truth, and your integrity. Because this is going to be... Like, I feel like this Queen of Swords is going to use everything that she can to hang on to this person. You. I feel like it's you. And you're going to be giving the truth in a very blunt, very truthful, honest way here. But I'm telling you, it's going to kick up a major storm. There's another storm warning, guys. There's another storm warning. I'm telling you, here comes this storm. It's going to be a fight. There could, uh, this Queen of Wands could be talking to her friends about this too, getting other people involved in this battle. Friends, family, stand your ground, Virgo. Stand your ground. You know, don't, ooh. Huh. Don't curl up in a little ball. Stand your ground, right? Virgo, I'm telling you, Virgo, because there's somebody here that you just can't let go of. And I'm telling the only way for you to get to this soulmate connection that you want, right, is to let this tower come and let this, this situation and the foundation with this uh, Page of Swords, Queen of Swords energy. I feel like it's coming to an end here. All of all the fighting, all the betrayal, all the crying and whining, all of that. It's coming to an end here. Um, I feel in July. I don't know who this is for, but that's what I'm picking up on. So it's either. It's either Virgo, this is your masculine that this is happening to in the background, okay? Um, and you could be dealing with a, an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. I've got Leo out here. I've got a lot of Virgo out here, okay? Scorpio as well, but this is just an end. Poof, it's over. Or this is you, Virgo, that I'm talking to, and you're dealing with... Uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, heavy on the Gemini. Take it however it resonates. All right, what else can you show me? Yeah, you want to make this new person, or this person from your past, this Six of Cups person, this is somebody who's very innocent with you, could be um, younger than you, actually. Um, you could have known this person for years you could even have children with this person 
I feel like this is who you want to make this love offer to. This is what you just can't get off of your mind. This is that driving force behind telling this um, Queen of Swords, Page of Swords person that it's over. This is wanting so bad to make this person a love offer. You want to come towards your soulmate connection here. Yeah, this is the one for you. The Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, I really feel like um, I'm talking to... This is the one that you could have invested time into, but you didn't. I feel like this is this Queen of Pentacles here. Um, you may not have thought that this person was worthy. And I feel like this person was breadcrumbed. You could have given to this karmic situation instead of this Queen of Pentacles, this person that you want now. You see this one as being very um, loyal, dependable, um, has integrity, right? Um, committed to whatever they're doing, very good at taking care of the home, the children, the finances, the business. This could be a business owner here, this Queen of Pentacles. Very, very financially stable person, okay? That's who you breadcrumbed. Yeah, very, what did I say? Very, very financially stable. This is the Empress in the Minor Arcana. And I feel like this is the one that you're choosing. Yeah, you could be dealing with um, a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Earth sign, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is somebody that you know that um, you can not only build with, but this is someone who is very loving, nurturing, kind. They've got to be very nurturing to nurture the business and whatever it is that they've got going on here. This is somebody who's been through it. Someone who um, most likely was very underestimated. And I feel like that's why you gave to someone else over this person. And breadcrumb this person. And now they're an empress extremely there this person's wealthy here very stable very nurturing loving kind giving yeah I feel like you um, chose the devil a toxic situation over this person and now you're trying to break free from this toxic individual here um, you could be dealing with the Capricorn you're trying to break free from this because um, you feel like you got burned in this situation because you ended up getting somebody who is kind of immature, immature, page of swords, and, and, and vengeful, um, angry, bitter, envious, jealous uh, queen of swords where you guys do nothing but fight. That's who you ended up giving to while you left your empress over here empty-handed. That's what I'm getting. And now you want to break free because you know you're getting burned in the situation. Yeah, so, yeah, look, the emperor to the empress, you want your empress. You want to be with this person so you can be a power couple and, and, and build empires. This is your person here. You're, I feel like Virgo... Um, you're bossing up. You're making a decision. You're deciding. You're making a final decision. I feel like you're going to try to talk to this karmic. You've got your hand extended like, hey, can we talk? I'm getting burned here royally. Um, yeah, and you know, I feel like you know it's, it's going to cause a, a major storm. Okay, a hurricane, right, is coming for you when you talk to this um, Queen of Swords, Page of Swords energy, but you can't help it. You want to go towards your Empress. I feel like you guys were actually supposed to be together. And I, I feel like you can see it too. These are coming out in your reading. Yeah, this is somebody you love. You didn't, you didn't share how you felt for this person and you kept them, you kept an Empress in a mental prison over this because you how you purposely withheld your love from them your attention your affection and you breadcrumbed them and decided to give to uh, the devil instead 
Yeah, man. Now you want to work on this with this Empress. You know that you let the wrong one go. You let the wrong one just sit there empty-handed. Or this is you and your person. Take it how it resonates with you, Virgo, but I feel like I'm reading for a Virgo masculine. I got to say it right off the bat. Um... Yeah, you left an empress in the in just standing here alone, trapped in their mind, wondering what the heck happened. Cause you didn't you you intentionally held your love back and now you're seeing things from a whole new perspective. You've seen everything clearly now. You could have been under some kind of um illusion here with this devil energy, you know. But I feel like you're seeing things clearly now. You're bossing up. And you're going after your empress. And you're going to stand your ground. Because that's what you're being led to do. That's what you're being led to do. Um, yeah, because the you're, look, twin flame soulmate connection. You're making a decision because your person's getting away. This empress, queen of cups, queen of pentacles... This person's getting away. Um, this is somebody who is healed already from this and is also being divinely led. Um, out this portal into a whole new lifestyle. This is someone who's got not just their balance back, but, her, but this person's got their groove back. Okay? And they're taking one last look over their shoulder to say goodbye. To say goodbye, um, yeah, this is somebody not waiting. This is the end of a cycle. And if this is your empress, this could be somebody also in the public eye, looking absolutely stunningly beautiful, very, very intuitive. This is someone who's also being divinely led. Uh, this could be your twin flame soulmate connection. I feel like that's this is the part that's been studied and watched. Uh, the knowledge, the spiritual knowledge behind all of this, okay? I feel like it's been, you're learning a lesson here, but you're, you're learning, you could even be learning from this person if they're in the public eye. And, and if they're intuitive and following a divine path, yeah. Um, either way, I feel like you're learning about this connection, Virgo. And you're seeing this empress like, there's not going to be another one like this. And, and you're absolutely right. There isn't. You're not going to find another twin flames, you know, another twin. Um, yeah, so you're feverishly thinking you're going to have to stand your ground, right? You're going to have to... Uh, there's a panic behind this because you know that you're confronting this page of swords that's going to flip into a very angry uh, this is somebody this person that you have to that you need to walk away from that you want to walk away from it's right here okay this is somebody who's very um impulsive very unpredictable this is somebody who can act like a an immature page of swords and all of a sudden turn into like somebody like the devil okay very mean very harsh very cold likes to maybe even gossip talk about gossip um stab you in the back wanting revenge wanting to get back at you being bitter envious jealous this is someone who brings in a hurricane um, and I, I feel like they're just gonna they're gonna kind of snap when you talk to them. They're gonna snap. Okay, and I feel like you can see this coming here. You know it. You know you're gonna have to stand your ground, Virgo, in order to walk away from that and leave it behind. But I feel like um, I feel like you are being led here. You're being led back to your empress. I don't know what else to say. You, I feel like this is a divine soulmate connection that was supposed to come together. You know, I feel like your offer to this person is coming in way too slow. But um, 
so, uh, either you or your person has to make a decision. Yeah, there's a judgment call. I feel you're both going to be making a decision and putting something to rest. Yes, somebody's going to get cut out. Um, there's going to be communication. There could even be a big battle, a huge storm on um, this Virgo masculine side. Okay. Um, yeah, as this person, your empress, they're moving forward into a new cycle. They're saying goodbye. Uh, I feel like that's why the divine is out here tooting their horn, saying it's time. This is the time to act. Act now. Bring out the truth, right? Bring out the truth now, because seriously, once this, once this empress steps through this portal into a new cycle, it's over. It's the end. So I feel like you're being led to get get out the truth now. This is this is the time. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, guys, I I'm pretty sure this was for a Virgo male out there. Um, but anyway, I do hope this helps someone. I hope it resonates with you. Uh, if you like this video, please click that like button. Subscribe to my channel. Help me grow, right? Um, and until next time, Virgo, take care of you and peace out.